really spectacularly horrible out there. The Ross Ice Shelf team is at a dead stop in a growing storm 100 miles from help. You're out here in the middle of nowhere. And no one's really been here before. Your life is in danger if you go outside and hang around there too long. Rob has to change a flat tire on the lead vehicle in the middle of whiteout conditions before they can get moving again. OK, Tom, I'm just going to back it up onto that block a little bit. And then I'll come out and we'll set this up. And then as I draw it back, hopefully it'll just push those tracks apart. We can whip that out. Damn good. I had no idea that a tyre could go wrong on a piston bully. I just assumed that you just drive on the tracks. I am not a mechanic, but Rob's an amazing mechanic. Woo! Now we're cooking. You can see that it's got a gouge out of the side here, so the ice just ripped into the side of it. The snow and ice conditions, you get in Antarctica, aren't like really anywhere else in the world. you just got to manage it. We got the spare tire. There we go. Working in places like this, it's not always about what you want to do or how you want to do it. It's, it's almost entirely what you have to do it with. Righto. The team has only been stopped for 45 minutes, but conditions have gotten much worse. It's windy, there's blowing snow and that affects your visibility. It gets quite difficult to drive. It's uh, kind of getting to the point where uh, it's really only a couple of options. What do you reckon? We have to make a call to either make camp for the night or push on, try and make up a bit more time. Yeah. The reality is we have to stop everything. Stay where we are, hunker down, keep everybody warm. For now, with what we can see out there, it's probably just not worth going anywhere. So it's a shame to lose one day, you know, one of our weather days, even when we're not even doing the science, but, you know. Well, yeah. to definitely just stay inside. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to hunker down. <laughs> 